Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love of Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to be talking about another mod spotlight. And today we're going to be going over Cyclic Part 2. Last time we went over all this stuff, so if you missed it, uh, I will link that down below so you can check that out. But this is part two and this is more of the cyclic stuff that is really awesome and some of my favorite stuff. But to start off with, we need to make the, um, the uh, melting chamber. Now, to make the melting chamber, we're gonna need two redstone blocks, nether quartz, a regular furnace, two glass, and three uh, obsidian and that will give us our melter now the melter does have to be powered I am just powering it with the peat generator that we went over last time and I built up a whole bunch of stuff in here now I went ahead and melted some but all you do is you have to have one slime and this is of course for the liquid slime for honey you would just have to have honey in here all the different stuff but that is how you use the melting chamber and then you could just take this out and put it in our next one that we're gonna do. Now we're gonna grab some stuff from over here in order to make the things for our next part. And of course, uh, there's two different ways to do this, and this is gonna be to make the crystallized. Uh, but you can also do honey. You would melt the honey in here, or you can melt magma by melting magma blocks or magma um uh, the slime balls magma cream all right so for this one this is called the uh oh gosh what is it called forgot what it's called crystallization chamber which um makes sense because we're gonna make crystals in it so you know they're all right so for this one it's kind of the same recipe except for at the top you're gonna have two lapis blocks instead of um, instead of redstone for that one. So same recipe, nether quartz in the middle, uh, furnace right in the middle, glass on either side, and obsidian on the bottom. Now this one, you're going to want to put liquids in here. Now you can do it as simply as taking a bucket and putting the liquids in here, which is what I did for these. Um, or you can, uh, pipe it with a fluid pipe. But for our purpose, we're just going to uh, put it in with a bucket. Now this will also need to be generated uh, gen Have power. So again peat generator because it's from cyclic. So all right So first of all, we're gonna want to make uh, We can't make that one first, but we want to make Some crystals because that's what this is all about. So for this one if we put in Fire charge now you can do this different way with the slime you're gonna do fire charge block of redstone and gold ingot and that is going to make us dun, dun, dun. got full power well done all right the slime's the second one we want sorry the first one we want is magma so again you're going to either melt magma blocks or magma cream in the melting chamber and have it come over to here so we're going to have not obsidian there. We're gonna have fire charge, block of redstone, and iron and gold ingots. And that's gonna give us a crystallized amber. Now that will make us multiples, but we can also do it if you had honey, you do fire charge, redstone dust, and magma block. As you see with the magma, it's not going to do it. You'd have to have honey in this chamber here to do that recipe. But if we switch this out, and that's why I had the honey here so I could tell you there is another way to do it. But as long as we have it just like that, it'll make us the crystallized amber. Now with the crystallized amber, and we're going to need multiples of these. So with the crystallized amber, we can take it over here and add it to here along with obsidian on top and chorus fruit, and that'll give us the crystallized obsidian. So those are the two main recipes you're gonna wanna know. I did the magma cream for this recipe because it's easier, in my opinion, to get that versus the honey. But 
uh, if you do the bees a lot, you might be able to get the honey easier. So, all right, now what are we gonna use these for? We are gonna use these for a ton of things. First of all, we're gonna make this cool little gadget that it's gonna allow us to, well, kind of walk on air. So it's gonna take three nether quart, um, nether warts, sorry, not quartz, one of the crystallized obsidian crystals, and three of the uh, bone blocks. So that's gonna make us this, and this is the anti-gravity ring. And what it allows you to do is kind of jump up and allows you to kind of walk on air. So it's kind of like flying, but you know, not like high powered flying or anything, but it is really cool. It does have a durability. So as you can see, it's going down as we have it in our hand, uh, but you can see the bar here. It's gonna go down because well, it does have a durability, but thankfully Cyclic does have something that we can repair it with and we will go over that in just a minute, but it's pretty cool. Um, to go back down, you just hit shift and to go up, you just hit space bar like you're jumping and it'll keep you up here. Uh, beware if you're at very tall, you don't want to high fall from too far because then you'll get hurt. All right, so next we're going to talk about a whole bunch of these charms, and these charms are really awesome. So the first one is a fire charm. So we're going to use two of the crystallized amber, four blaze rods, and three iron blocks, and that's going to give us this fire charm. So if we take this fire charm, and we want to go over here, yep, and as long as this is in your inventory, you can shift, uh, right click, and it will disable it. You see how it doesn't glow. Same with the fire charm. You can shift, oh, well, that one you can't. You can shift right click on the anti-gravity and it won't glow anymore. You used to be able to turn the charms off, but I guess not now. Um, so you can turn this one off, but if we go over here, I have the fire charm on me. So this one is fire, but as you can see, I'm on fire, but I'm not really getting hurt from it. The only reason I got hurt before is because of the spikes. But the fire charm protects me from, well, fire. So it's pretty cool. Now if I take it off, still on fire. I have it lasting for a minute, but as soon as it goes off, as you can see, now I'm getting hurt. So the fire charm is really cool, especially if you're planning on going to the nether, around any blaze, anything like that. Next we have the, uh, it's called the antidote charm. I always have to look for the name because I want to call it Venom for some reason. All right, so this one we're going to also do two of the crystallized amber, four spider eyes, which easy to get, and three ingots. Now this one will protect you from any kind of spider type. So this one in the middle is cursed because it has spider stuff on it. And if you look, I have weakness, slowness, bad luck, mining fatigue, but... I won't actually get hurt from like spiders and stuff because I have my venom charm on me. All right, so now we have the wither charm. Now this one, you're gonna want four wither roses, two of the crystallized amber and three of the iron blocks. And it does what you think it does. It gives you protection from the wither and from wither skeletons. So you won't get that wither damage anymore. All right, let me slip bear right back. So pretty cool, huh? All right, now I'm leaving these here because we're gonna make something cool with them later. Now this is what I was talking about in order to repair our items. This is a diamond anvil and it repairs things for you. So you're gonna have three diamond ingots on top, two redstone, three iron blocks, and in the middle, you're gonna want one of the crystallized obsidian. Now this does require power and so I have it powered with the battery, which is running off the peat generator. So what can you do with this? This is totally awesome. I'm just gonna put one of my tools in here. It's gonna use the power to repair it. Now it is good as new. And it works on most tools. Now if you have other mods in here, it might not work on those. So that depends on whatever pack you're using. Sometimes they do disable it. But even on this vanilla diamond pickaxe, as you can see, it totally repaired it all the way. So this is pretty cool thing to have. I always recommend getting this ASAP. It's awesome. 
All right, so next we have some reusable indoor eyes and stuff. And I forget which one's which. So this one's a solid indoor eye. It's a reusable indoor eye for finding strongholds. So this one you would use eight indoor eyes with a redstone in the middle. And all you would simply do is throw it like you normally would the ender eyes, except for it doesn't go away. You just keep reusing it over and over again. So instead of uh, getting these lost, now it does have a durability. And of course it's not gonna go right now. Probably because there is no stronghold here and it's like, what the hell are you trying to do to me? Anyway. All right, so next we have the Ender Orb, and this one is the reusable Ender Pearl. Like I said, I do have to look and see which one's which because they're a little bit confusing. But this one is made with four Ender Pearls, four lapis blocks, and one redstone block right in the middle. And this one, you can throw. Obviously, you got to be careful because you're going to go into stuff. But uh, this one, it's just a reusable ender pearl so you can use it over and over again to teleport places it does have a durability but once again well don't don't accidentally right click it in your hand so i don't re recommend keeping it on your hot bar in your hand when you're not using it because you'll accidentally use it but again it is repairable which is nice all right the next one is the ender orb translocator and this one is the reusable ender pearl that carries you so this one is actually going to teleport us which is really really awesome of course you are going to get a little bit of damage so you want to be aware of that but look at that and again you can repair it Woohoo. So this one is four ender pearls, four gold blocks, and a redstone block right in the middle. So that one will actually carry you so you could teleport across your land. Just be careful of your health. Now this one is a spawner seeker and this one is pretty cool. It does what you would think it does. It helps you find a spawner in your world. So that way you can build your mob farms or whatever you want to do with it. So this is four nether wards, two purple dye, a uh, ender pearl right in the middle, and two mossy cobblestone. And I'm in a flat world for, you know, demonstration purposes, but you would just throw it and it would help you find, like this one helps you find the end portal, this one would help you find the spawners. So you just use it like you normally would the Eye of Enders. All right, now this one is really freaking cool and you should make it right away. This is a sleeping bag. So you're gonna use two red wool, it does have to be red, and two leather, that's it. And this allows you, it does have a durability, but again, repair. Uh, it does have a durability, but it allows you to go out and about and sleep on the go. Any pack that has sleeping bags I thoroughly enjoy them they're awesome all right so those we went over last time that was just for demonstration all right so this next one is kind of weird it is called stirrups and I'll demonstrate in a minute but to make it you're going to use two leather two leads and two iron ingots now what do you do with this you carry a mob with you so it can be a cow, a chicken, a sheepy, uh, what just happened? <laughs> um, mount any entity without the control of the saddle. So... You can't control them at all, which makes it weird. But this is all you can do. And wherever they go, you go with them. I don't really know what the purpose of it is. But like if we take the horse, we're just going to sit here. Horse is getting mad at us, but you know, whatever. So this one's kind of weird. Now, the one thing I have found it useful for is I picked up a Thomcraft trader. Oh, he was mad. 
oh, we're best friends. <laughs> it doesn't make it easier to train that I can find. But um, I did pick up a peck one time and carry it with me. The only thing is when you carry them, it's like right in your face and it's really weird. But so that's just one of the fun, weird things, you know. All right, next we have the uh, wooden wrench. And so this transforms, uh, you can change the way a block is looking. So for this, you want a dim uh, diamond, a wooden hoe, two stone, and two sticks. It's real easy to make. And so for instance, if I go up to this and I click on it, it does not consider that a simple block. But let's see where I might have to grab a block out. Um, see, it's not rotating those either. I wonder if it'll rotate the grass. No. Nope. Let me find something that'll rotate. Be right back. Okay, so for instance, if you put a, a furnace down and you want to rotate it. Oops. You shift right click and it just turns it. It turns it and it'll keep turning it and you just keep getting it whatever way you want it until you get it where you want it. So like if you're using this for decoration purposes, it would be pretty cool because then you could turn the furnace around and have it exactly the way you want it for your details. But it's just kind of fun to use, so that's how that works. Then we have the torch uh, torch charm. And this one is a little bit different than the torch launcher we talked about last time. So for this one, we want another one of the crystallized amber, four obsidian in the corners, two torches on either side, and iron bars on top and bottom. So with this one, it torches the darkness while in your inventory. So we would have to go somewhere really dark um, I guess I could wait till it comes night. I don't have darkness on here. Gotta avoid those. They'll throw us up in the air, which is kind of fun, but you, you gotta be careful with them. You kind of want them surrounded by lilies. All right, so we'll demonstrate this one in a minute. Basically what it does is it, it, it will automatically place a torch down if where you're at is dark. So for instance, if you're going mining, then it's gonna place it down. It does have durability, but you can repair. This is one of my favorites and this is the climbing glove. It is amazing. So you're gonna use four leather for this one, a crystallized amber, uh, I always forget the name of this thing, a scoot, and three slime balls. Now this, I did not jump. This allows you to climb up blocks. Now let me demonstrate a little bit better. So for instance, like this tree, it just allows you to automatically climb up stuff. It's, it's really fun. You can turn it off. So if you hit shift, right click, you see it's no longer glowing. So it is off. So if I try to climb now, it'll do nothing but I can just shift right click to turn it back on. And voila. Ta-da! Again, you do wanna be careful because um, it is going to, trying to see if it'll place torches out here. There we go, see? It's just gonna place torches wherever it's dark. And as you can see, now it's using durability. That's what the torch charm does. The climbing glove is actually one of my very favorites. I love it so very much and it's so easy to make. All right, next we have, this one is the void charm. And this is very, very handy if you're playing like a skyblock. It allows you, it keeps you from falling into the void. So this one is two crystallized amber, three in stone and four nether warts. And it does just like it says, it keeps you from falling into the void uh, obviously you can still use it on other packs or mm, I don't know what you would be playing but um, yeah mostly that's used the most commonly in skyblocks 
Okay, next we have the Ender Wing Prime, and this one teleports you to your personal spawn point. And it is a an Eye of Ender, three gold ingots, four feathers, and a crystallized amber. So this one is pretty cool. Teleports you to a spawn point. This one is the world spawn point, and it's called the Ender Wing. Now this one freaked me out one time when I was playing a Skyblock, so this one you gotta be careful of. Uh, and I will demonstrate it, but when we are done, because it'll take us not here. Um, but this one is the crystallized amber, three gold ingots, four feathers, and right up here at the top, you're going to want a quartz block. Next, we have an ender pouch, which is pretty cool. It look, it works like a traveling uh, ender chest. So you have your ender chest in the middle, your five leather at the bottom, two ender pearls at either side, and very top, a crystallized amber. And if you pull it open, I put all this stuff in here. So this is all mine. But anywhere you go, this this is your ender bag. This is your little ender chest. So it's just like what you would normally have in there, except for you can take it with you and access it on the go. So, you know, vanilla Minecraft, you usually take this, you open it, there's your stuff in there, and then you have to break it and in order to take it with you, which is a pain in the butt, but when you're just playing vanilla, oh, well, I forgot I didn't have silk touch on that. So that didn't work because, you know, we broke it. All right, so then we're gonna get into the tools, but I made it a little bit different here because you make the tools the same way, same with the armor. So the tools, you'll use the crystallized obsidian and diamond. So wherever you would normally have a stick, so for a sword, you would have the, wherever you have the stick, you would have diamonds. So for a pickaxe, you'd have two diamonds here and three crystallized obsidian on top. So you get the point, but it's always diamond where the stick would normally go and then crystallized uh, obsidian to make the weapon. So, but these weapons are actually very cool. If you look at them, Look at the attack damage on that, 14.5. And they last for a really long time. Okay, so let's compare the diamond pickaxe. 1.2 attack speed and five attack damage. The crystallized pickaxe, however, is 1.2 attack speed and 12.5 attack damage. So making these, yeah, definitely wanna make these as soon as you can, because these are awesome. So much better, and then, the armor, I have the rest of the armor on, but the armor is made by making the main piece in diamond, and then you would put around it the crystallized obsidian. So, and then look at that. Look at the stats on these. And it looks cool too. It, it, it helps that purple's my favorite color. So crystallized armor, definitely make that. Definitely make the tools. These you're really gonna wanna use. They're awesome. Now, all those charms we made, nobody wants to carry all those around because that takes up too much space. So we have where we can make the um, charm talisman. So what it does is it takes up one space and it holds all of these together. So for that, we're gonna need each of the four charms that we made, crystallized obsidian in the middle, and this is gray concrete. Okay, gray concrete. That's all that is. So it's real easy to make after you've made all the charms, and then you're automatically protected from Poison, Wither, Fire, and Void. And even if you don't need the Void, if you make it, then you could put it all in this, and ta-da, as long as you keep it on you, you will be protected. Now the other thing I wanna talk about is we turn this off, but if we turn this back on, we're gonna get up in the air. If you go to move it somewhere near your inventory, you see that? We started falling. So if you pick it up, you gotta be careful with that because you're gonna be hurt. And especially if you're really, really high up, you really gotta be careful. So, but these are the fun things that Cyclic offers. 
And now let's see. Here is World Spawn. We weren't very far, but here is World Spawn. It does have a countdown timer, but normally if you're further away and you build close to spawn or if you just want to go back to spawn for whatever reason, it's a quick way to get back. Uh, my, my suggestion is, though, just be very careful with it. Like, know where you're going. Have an idea of how to get back to where you want to be. So, build close to spawn if you can. Um, yeah, that way you just don't get lost in your world. But it's a cool thing that Cyclic adds, and so definitely look into it. That is it. I know Cyclic offers more, but these, in my opinion, are the best stuff. Part one and part two. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. No lets me know you guys appreciate it. And then if you want, you can hit that notification bell so you can see exactly when my videos come out and be one of the first to watch them. All right. Till next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.